Today I'm going to show you how to change your desktop's appearance. After you first get your PC, it starts to get boring to see all the same stuff all the time. Windows allows you to change your desktop's appearance to what you want. So first, right click the desktop and click on personalize. It may take some time depending on how fast your computer is. Once it appears, click on it and you'll get this window. The appearance settings are different from Windows 7 to Windows 10 than Windows XP and Windows Vista. Today I'll just show you how to do it on PCs that run Windows 7 to Windows 10. Once you've clicked on Personalize, you'll find a window that allows you to alter your appearance settings. There are many things you can do. Let's start with changing the background. So click on Desktop Background. It will take you to a list of backgrounds that you can choose from. If you want something different, you can always download a background from the web, then upload it into its file location. For example, you can click this PC and then your drive and get something. You can also pick a solid color. Just click on picture location and click on solid colors. You get like blue or red or green. Because if you want to be basic, then you can just have one simple solid color. Once you're done, click OK. You can also change the. You can also add a slideshow if you want more than two backgrounds, two or more backgrounds. So go back to desktop background, and click on and go to a file that has two or more backgrounds. For example, I want this one and this one. Notice how this now pops up. It is now available. You can change your picture every 10 seconds, 30 seconds, 1 minute, 3 minutes, 5 minutes, 10, 15, 20, 30, 1 hour, 2 hours, 3, 4, 6, 12 hours, and 1 day. You can also change the picture position to fill it, to fit in, to stretch, to tile, and to center it. I would recommend to fill it. Once you're done, click Save Changes. So your background gets saved. There are also themes that have been provided for you just in case you want a Windows, a Windows theme. There's Windows, default theme. There's Lines and Colors. And there's Flowers. There's also High Contrast themes for people who have disabilities. For example, I might click High Contrast Black. And this is how it'll appear. I'll just have it regular. It'll ask you to wait a while. Once it pops up, you can change whatever you want. Once you are done with that, you can change the sounds. Just click on sounds. And there are many sounds you can pick from. For Windows 8.1 and up, you can only pick from Windows default. There are some that they've given you, but you can also browse for some. But they have to be WAV files, otherwise they are not comp compatible with Windows. You can search anywhere you want. Once you're done with that, you can click OK or Apply and OK. You can also change the color of the windows on the taskbar. You can pick automatic colors, which means that the taskbar and the window color will automatically change to what the background is. So if you have a yellow background, it'll change to this type of color. If you pick any other color, color intensity will pop up, so you can change the intensity of the color. For example, I want pink. I can make it more intense. Or I could make it dense. I'm just going to keep it like this. You can also change the color mixer. You can change the hue. You can change the saturation. And you can change the brightness. Once you're done with that, click Save Changes, and that's done. You can also change the screensaver. What the screensaver does is that it reduces memory when you're not using your computer, so your computer does not lose charge quickly. To change your screensaver, click on this button. This window will, should pop up. You can change the screensaver. 
you can change the number of times you want to wait for the screensaver. So if you have a screensaver like um, Bubbles, you can change it to maximum is 1000. I accidentally exit another. So I'll just put 10 minutes since that's the default one. You can also preview it. This is how it'll pop up. You can preview others too. Like this. This one is an automatic one that loads into my computer because my computer has been bought from Asus. Once you're done previewing that, you can XR that. There's also some settings for some of them. Sometimes there isn't, sometimes there is. For example, bubbles, there aren't any sounds. Once you're done, click apply and OK. You can also modify the desktop icons. Just click on change desktop icons and another window will pop up. You can hide or show some default icons like computer, users files, network, recycle bin, and control panel. I'd recommend you show all of them, but if you want to, you don't have to. If you want to, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. For example, all I've left is control panel. But I'd recommend you put all of them. So then it's easier to get to the file. You can also change the icon. For example, I want to change the species icon to maybe a phone. I click apply, and look, it's been changed. I'll just revert it to its normal one. Once you're done, click apply and OK. Now all that's left is the mouse pointers. Click on that and this window will pop up saying mouse properties. You can change the, port the pointer image. Windows um, has given you a few pointers that you could use, especially Windows XP. It has given you a lot. So you can pick like Windows Extra Large, def Default, Inverted, Standard, or you can get one of your own. But it has to be an Ana file or Cur file. Ana means um, animated cursor and Cur means cursor, regular cursor, non animated. Once you're done, you can click on whatever you want. There's also more. Click on buttons. Here is the button configuration, and you can choose what key you want to make your default button. For example, if you make um, the right key your default button, you'll, every time you press on something with your left key, it'll be right, um, right clicked. If you click on the left key, I mean on the right key, then it won't be right clicked. You can enable that if you want, if you are right-handed or left-handed. Here are the pointer options that show you motion and visibility. You can change the speed of the pointer. For example, mine is now very fast. And you can also make it slow. I'm just going to put it normal. You can also make stuff snap to your pointer. You can change the you can display pointer trails. It's very fun to watch the pointers chase after each other. You can make it short or long. For example, this is only two, but now it's like six or seven. You can also hide the pointer while typing. This is very this is a very good option because if you're typing and your mouse gets in the way, sometimes you forget what you're typing. So I'd recommend you enable this. The show location of pointer when I press control key means that whenever you press the control key you know where your mouse is because it gives this sign. Once you're done click on apply and OK. There you are. You can also save a theme. Once you're done editing something you can click on you can right click and click on save theme. And you can name your theme. And there. You can also delete it but you'll have to first go to another theme and then delete it because you can't delete the theme you're using otherwise your Windows PC won't work. And that's it.